Hello and welcome to our discussion on financial statements. In this session, we will try to pick up and understand some specific financial terms relating to the finance to the assets, understand those terms and also observe the impact of that on the financial statement. The first of them, first the financial item is the cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is a part of the revenue goods sold during the period. So part if the revenue goods is sold, it is called cost of goods sold. And when the stock is sold, as per the matching concept, the profit has to be determined by deducting the cost of goods sold from sales. So cost of goods sold is an expense. When the stock is purchased, is an asset. And when at the end of the period, the closing stock is determined by deducting the cost of goods sold from the purchases. In other words, if there is an opening stock, closing stock is equal to opening stock plus purchases minus cost of goods sold. So cost of goods sold is an important item of financial statements. In this example, let's see that the stock was there in the company 150,000 and the company sold 70% of the stock. So the cost of goods sold is an expense to the extent of the goods sold. So, so the 70% has been determined by multiplying uh, by using the opening stock. So cost of goods sold, inventory is an asset, but the cost of goods sold is an, a, is an expense. The closing stock as mentioned there is equal to opening stock plus purchases, but there is no purchase here. And so it's only cost of goods sold. So closing stock is equal to opening stock minus the cost of goods sold. The second item would like to discuss is a bad debt. Bad debt is a loss due to insolvency or the bankruptcy of the debtor. It is also an irrecoverable debtors. If the debtors, when the goods are sold on credit, debtors are shown on the balance sheet. For example, in this case, we sold 300,000 and uh, if and in the previous time period, in the previous accounting period, there is a data of 85,000. So if you can see the change in the data, the debtors have changed because there was a credit sale of 120,000. And of that, the bad debt is 10% of the old debtors. So bad debt, in this case, is 8,500 and 8,500 has been calculated as 10% of the opening debtors and debtor reduces to the extent of the bad debt. So bad debt is a loss due to the insolvency of the debtors. So closing debtors in this case is opening debtors plus credit sales minus collections minus bad debt. So we can see that in this case the closing debtors is equal to opening debtors plus sales minus collections minus bad debt. So bad debt is also shown in the income statement as a loss or a reduction of income. Then we'll see the third item that is the depreciation. Depreciation is a loss due to wear and tear of the assets and in this case the assets are the property, plant and equipment. Equipment. So bad debt is a loss due to the insolvency of the debtor whereas the, the depreciation relates to the property, plant and equipment. It is a reduction in the property, plant and equipment. So in this example, 
there's a plant of 100,000 and depreciation is charged at 20% of the cost. So depreciation is shown in the income statement as an expense and to that extent the accumulated depreciation increases, accumulated depreciation increases. So depreciation is shown in the income statement and is also a reduction in the assets. In this case is a reduction of the plant. Cost of goods sold is a reduction in the inventory. Bad debt is a reduction in the revenue goods that is the stock. The next item is the amortization. Amortization is the allocation of the cost of intangibles over the life of the intangible. It's a reduction in the value of the intangible assets. So intangible assets can be copyright, can be know-how or any other asset which has a value but which cannot be seen or touched. So in this example we purchased a know-how of 20,000 and know-how is an intangible asset. A know-how will be shown on the balance sheet. But the life of the know-how is 4 years so depreciation, uh, the amortization will be calculated by dividing cost of the know-how over the life that is 5000 and to maintain consistency we will show that as a accumulated amortization which is a reduction in the value of the asset. So we can see that three important items on the income statement. One is a four important items. Cost of goods sold relates to the inventory. Bad debt relates to the debtors. Depreciation relates to the plant and amortization relates to the know-how. So plant, inventory, debtors and know-how affect the income statement through cost of goods sold, through bad debt, through depreciation, through amortization. As we move along, we'll see and observe that the profit to a large extent depends on the methods of calculating cost of goods sold, bad debt, depreciation and amortization. So there is a need to understand how is this cost of goods sold, depreciation and amortization are calculated. And each of these items are governed by a separate accounting standard. So the these four items in the income statement to a large extent affect the determination of profit. So profit is subject to the methods in which the amortization is determined, the methods in which depreciation is calculated and the methods in which cost of goods sold is determined and the methods in which and the rate at which the bandit or provision for bandit is calculated. So the these items relating to the assets have a huge implication on the profit or a loss of a company. Thank you very much.